Risa Floor ES, or Elevated Slab, is an add-on feature available for your standard Risa Floor. ES utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of elevated concrete slabs. It still includes Risa Floor's ability to design composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and coal form steel. In this video, we will take a look at the setup and basic modeling tools to create an elevated slab concrete building in Risa Floor ES. So let's go ahead and get started. So when starting a new model, our first step is to select our floor type to be a concrete floor slab here. And then we're going to follow our standard Risa Floor setup by entering the remainder of our floor information as I have already done. So drawing grid populates first. I can type in my drawing grid locations or intervals, or what I would like to do is import a DXF file with my slab edge information. So I'll select my DXF file location here, and I'm gonna import all the layers. Just like in the standard version of Risa Floor, I can use the same familiar tools to draw in my framing elements. So I'm going to click on the Draw Columns tool. In this window, I can set my column shape, which I can choose in the drop-down window here, and the program will optimize the design. Or I can set an explicit shape. Many times, architects or clients will give engineers the size columns they prefer for their design. So I'm going to pretend my architect is showing a 12 by 12 and move up from there. The concrete material I will set to 4,000 normal weight, and I'm going to leave my design rules as typical and have these columns be gravity. Now I'm going to use my DXF and click the points at the center of my columns to draw in the columns in the model window. Next, I'm going to use the draw wall tool to draw in my building's lateral system. So just like in traditional Risa Floor, I will select the draw wall tool feature and choose lateral. And then I'm gonna click and place all of my walls in the corners here. So just like in traditional Risa Floor, I'm gonna click and point to add my lateral walls. Let's create our slab now. Click the create slab slash diaphragm edge tool. In the draw slab tool window, I can choose an existing slab definition or I can create a new definition. In the new window, I'm going to enter my slab thickness of nine inches and I'm going to choose 4,000 normal weight concrete for my material. If I wanted, I could enter any superimposed load or topping slab that I have for the project down here also. Now I can click around my slab edge from my DXF file and double click on the last point to close the loop. So here you can see in the model window, I'm snapping to the points in my DXF file to draw around the slab. Now we have a nice green edge indicating our slab edge. To design the slab reinforcement, we need to assign support lines and design strips. So first thing I want to do is open my design strip rule spreadsheet here. So I have rules set up for my north, south, and east, west directions. Clicking on the red arrow here opens the rules editor. Here I will set my rebar cover, the sizes for the top and bottom bars, and the spacing. In the deflection tab, I can set my max deflation ratios. I can also set these reinforcement properties directly in the spreadsheet. Now we are ready to draw our support lines. By clicking the support line tool located here in the left hand toolbar, I'm choosing my strip width to be automatic. Then I'll choose my design rule for the north-south rebar. Then I'm going to click my support columns and walls following the north-south direction. So I'm just gonna click top and bottom from north and south. And then again, I'm going to do this in the east and west direction as well. Once we have our support lines drawn, we can choose Generate Strips, 
And now you can see the program has auto-generated the design strip widths across my slab for both the north, south, and east, west direction. This floor is done, but you can use the same modeling techniques from traditional Risa floor to draw in concrete beam elements or copy elements from floor to floor. So I'm actually going to copy this floor to another floor by using the floor spreadsheet here. And I'm going to hit enter on the last row. And this will bring up our new floor window. And I'm going to choose to copy from our first floor. And I'm going to copy all the information from that floor to our next level. And I'm going to just create a new elevation and then click apply. Now if I go to the full model view, you'll see our elevated concrete slab building. At this point, we've completed the modeling of our structure. We could then go on to apply loads, running the analysis, and then reviewing design results. For those topics, as well as information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.